the previous edition of Fiery Friday, I showed you how you can take XML files and create data-driven workflows using Fiery Job Flow's new feature, Ticket Mapper. Today, I'm going to show you how you can take Ticket Mapper and create cover pages that can be inserted into jobs coming into Job Flow on the fly. Let me show you how this works. So in this example, I have an XML file called Business Cards. And what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this file and we're going to copy it into our workflow called Business Cards with Cover Page. This XML file has all the data that will create the cover page along with populating the job tickets inside of job properties on the Fiery. So here you can see we brought in the file, we're imposing it using Fiery Impose, and then we're using the correct module inside of Fiery Job Flow to populate the cover page with the XML data. Then finally we're sending it down to Fiery to turn on duplexing and pull the proper paper. So let's look at the results of the job on the screen inside of Fiery Job Flow. Here you can see we have our job ticketing information that's been pulled in from the XML file as well as creating a barcode if we need to scan it. And then we have the impose file completed. And if we open up Command Workstation, you'll see the job is processing along with the data that we pulled in from the XML file to populate the job properties of this job for the customer. So now I'm going to walk you through the different components of this workflow to give you a better understanding of how it works. So the first thing here is you can see I'm in Device Center and I'm underneath the workflows and job presets. And I've created a job preset called Cover Page. If we go in here and take a look at this, underneath the Cover Page section, you can see I have Banner Page turned on, Custom turned on, and I'm defining the paper we're going to pull for this job. So inside a job flow underneath input sources, we have ticket mapping selected to cover page to pull in the information for the XML file. And from here, you're going to notice underneath the correct module, we are going to be able to populate the different values of the cover page using the data from the XML file. Next, I'm going to come up here to admin. We're going to go to ticket mapper and I'm going to show you what this cover page mapping looks like. So if you notice here underneath the master variables, we have the different areas of the ticket properties are being mapped to the correct module, so it ends up populating the ticket properly using those fields. Here is the cover page that contains all of the fields inside the XML file, which will be populated once it runs through Fiery Job Flow. And finally, here is the XML file itself, which shows you how it's set up with all the data fields that are required to populate the cover page and to set the job properties in the job in Command Workstation. If this is a workflow you'd like to try out for yourself, please feel free to reach out to your local Fiery SDM or TSS. Thank you.